Yeah, check out my my new uh, wood choking tomahawk by CRKT. My first impression: when you take it out of the box, you, the head is separately packaged. Comes with a nice piece of plastic there. Isn't that fancy? And <laughs> it is a nice box, though. It all comes in there, laid out nice in sections, compartmentalized inside the box here. You cut the tape, take it out. It, it was inside another box when it arrived, of course. And uh, a box in a box, that's always good. So, uh, I, uh, I put the head on, and this shows you how, which I knew how to do, but uh, a lot of people don't realize these are supposed to be loose on here. In other words, I can just knock this down and take it off the bottom. This end's flared on this piece of hickory handle, Tennessee hickory handle. And this end is not. So you look, put it on the lower end. This is where your hand goes. And then it goes up to the head. And uh, on the handle there. And it, the flare locks it on. You just bang it down. As per the instructions. That's what this is showing here. So right there. They're, they're banging it into place. Yeah, It allows you to. You can take it off and use it for hand chisel also or whatever you want to call it but uh you can do that with the handle on also I mean you just choke up on it you can do a lot it does have that option plus it's easy to replace the handle but yeah that works great and if you ever have a problem with it you just bang it back down it's uh I haven't even seen the edge yet Let's check out the edge of it. I don't have any junk mail. I wish I did. We could do some slicing. I was having fun doing that last night. Makes me happy now when I open my mailbox and it's like they stuffed it full of junk shit. Holy shit, it's crazy, man. I'll just pull that shit up and I'll roll it up like a tatami mat and go to town with my cold steel Spartan here. That thing works real nice. It's that's a powerful slicer. So uh yeah, it's nice. And I got the uh, uh yeah, so working arthritis is a bit of a hassle here. That's the cold steel counterpoint. It says counterpoint on it right there. And it's it's fucking awesome, man. Six inches of blade. Really, if you measure it, it's just under six inches. I got this as a replacement for my Luzon, my Cold Steel Luzon, which I still have. But, see, this is an 8010 lock or whatever it's called. This is a real secure lock. It's safe. This lock pack will keep this blade from severing off my fingers. Which, with knives like the Spartan and this... It's essential. It's really essential with any knife. But uh, cross locks generally are just very difficult uh, to put on safely. I mean, there's just so many examples of manufacturers with failed cross locks. So here's a Victorinox since I got onto this. It's not what I intended to do, but th theirs works really well. This is a, uh, not a cross lock, what they call it, a liner lock. That's what it's called. This is a liner lock. So the, the, the other kind of lock back. And these tend to have problems. Now on this Victrinox, it just it's uh, different than most. This one has no problems at all. It's very secure. It doesn't jam into place. Now on my large Luzon knife, which is a knife similar to this, but with a different lock, it has a liner lock. Uh, it, it jams open. And then I have to take the point of another knife and put it into that one to unjam it. It's the only way I can close it. Or you have to strike it against, you know, something hard a hard piece of wood your enemy's head whatever the uh the, you can the, you can close it again but uh yeah, who wants a knife that jams open and you certainly don't want one where the lockback fails and closes on you and uh cold still knows that those are you know dangerous and they make these big knives so what they did is they made a a safety let me get it since i'm talking about it, it's not what i intended and, uh, oh Dude, dude, dude. Ow, son of a bitch, the goddamn floor is popping up there. I hope that doesn't hurt my doggy's paw. 
I wear house shoes, so it doesn't really hurt me. It just it tries to pitch me out of my face. But anyways, this is the, the target range. I guess I got a new pizza box to hit there, but that's for my blow guns. The cold steel blow guns. Of course, they don't sell the damn fins for the darts separate than the cones. I have to get to making my own somehow. The, uh, that's the loose on. Problem with it, see that's the safety. It's easier to use left handed than right handed actually, but that's a, that's a liner lock. See it locks right here. You can't undo it without undoing the safety first. But it, you know, I mean fights are violent. These are fighting knives. And uh you don't want your knife closing on your finger. You don't want it jammed open afterwards. It didn't jam open there, but if I'd opened it much, if you open it too too hard, it jams open. Yeah, I'll do it right now. Oh, that might not be hard enough. Nope, it didn't jam. Just take my word for it, it jams all the damn time. And uh, you have to shove another knife right in here in order to unjam the fucker, so... Put it down there. So, anyways, I got the counterpoint here with the different lock back to uh, to replace that. So, there's the counterpoint. The counterback point has the 8010 lock back, which is tested very strong. I, so, anyway, it's much better. The uh, it's back to the uh, hatchet here. The tomahawk is what it is. This is a tomahawk. This is really hefty. This is hefty. Ooh, boy, this is hefty. This can do some serious work. Let's check out the edge. Okay. I gotta figure out what to do with the uh, fucking camera. Like, oh no. I should make something so I can carry it around on my head or something. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it looks sharp anyways. Let's see how sharp it is. Let me figure this out. I got those targets in there. I kind of wanted to hit the pizza box or something else, but I'm not going to throw this in my room. Obviously, it would go right through the wall, but it stops blowgun darts. So, uh, I don't know. What can I cut? What can I cut? I only got one hand available here. I'm stuck with the... Do, 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 do. Well, you know what? Uh, Let's just assume the fuck is sharp, and if it's not, I'll make it sharp. I kind of want to cut something with it, though. Got to be something good to cut here. Uh, that damn thing. I'm supposed to get a roof on the other side. Okay, That's okay so uh, we'll just go in here. test here a cutting test I don't want to knock all my shit down I'm probably not gonna make it look very good here <laughs> you know what I'm thinking if I can't do this shit right I should skip it but I'm gonna end up knocking down my whole fucking setup I mean you know what I mean it's for blow guns so here here's something Maybe it's not that sharp. But, uh... Here. Uh, it's fine sharp for a... No, it's for, for, for a hat, for a tomahawk. I mean, these are thick. It's not a knife. It's fine sharp for that. It's not like a knife blade. And besides, I got sharper, so I can make it as sharp as I damn well please or need. Anyways, these uh, these are they're more for they have to be able to take impact more than thick. They have to be able to disperse it throughout the blade, so that's why they're shaped the way they are. It's different than a knife. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is serious. This is a serious amount of uh, of tomahawk here, man. I didn't realize just how much. I mean, I knew what it weighed, but I didn't realize. 
how much I would really feel this weight. Uh, this would be difficult for me to use, I think. Probably not, really. I'm sure I can, but I got arthritis. So with wrist brace on and all, though, I could probably get some serious work done on it. You can choke up on it. You can use two hands on it when you need to. But anyhow, uh, I mean, because, I mean, this way is, I don't know, my cane doesn't weigh that much. But, but, but this thing's awesome. You can just, oh, whoops, control it real well with these uh, grips I have on there. Finger twirl set up there, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, I can grip the shit out of this. I mean, it does hurt my wrist, but the cool thing is I can, I can thrust powerfully. It's like, boom, real quick. Too. It's, it, lets you, it lets you have ultimate control of this damn thing. See if I can get a picture of it. Ow. quality videos oh yeah I just got this one I'm outfitting it now with the constrictors Let's see the constrictors that way I can uh, I can control it so I got the screen right in my face here so <laughs> but yeah there's the constrictors they give you a lot of control it's fucking cool Got one here. It gives me a lot of control of this thing. Which is good for using it both as a mil uh, mobility device. It's good for forging and it's awesome for fighting. Anyways, I got a setup coming where I, I ordered a uh, a leather, not a metal ring, because the metal ring will bang on here as I go through the woods. But a belt, a belt loop for it. You know, for like uh, construction guys, like I, I wear for. I already have one for hammers. Um, I still have my old, my old work, my last work belt. But, anyways, uh, yeah, you just wear it on your belt loop like that. And I got a uh, leather uh, protector coming for this. I can just unsnap that, or I can just pull it right out of its loop and use the hammer with the leather in place here. And, uh, so that's a nice setup there. I can just, uh, how I can carry, I should be able to carry it fairly comfortable. Although I already got a lot on my belt that I carry around. But anyways, it's, uh, it's a real hatch, hatch, a real tomahawk there. And you can get some serious work done and they're great for throwing. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I, I thought that the, uh, the smaller versions, they make the lighter, smaller, similar ones. I figured they would be too uh, too light. Now I'm thinking that they're probably uh, pretty decent tools, actually. I don't know. Uh, I know this one's really hefty. It uh, has a lot more heft than I realized it would have. Sweet.